What's going on, family? Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. October 19th, 1984. I had the pleasure of being at Madison Square Garden to watch the middleweight championship fight between Marvelous Marvin Hagler and Brooklyn's middleweight contender, Mustafa Hamshaw. Mustafa Hamshaw was a very rugged and aggressive fighter. So when the fight was about to go down, I had to make sure I was there. And I got my ticket. And I was blessed to have a seat at the second row of this magnificent middleweight championship bout. Mustafa Hamshaw was born October 10th, 1953. He was a southpaw, stood 5 foot 8 inches and weighed 160 pounds. He had total bars of 51, 44 wins, 28 knockouts, 5 losses, and 2 draws. Now I remember James Buddy McGurk telling me that Mustafa Hamshaw he sparred with him three rounds to prepare him for his first 10 round bout. Because Mustafa Hamshaw would give you work. June 27th, 1997, he would score a seven round TKO over Domingo Ortez. Syracuse, New Jersey, April 26th, 1979. Then he would fight him again in North Bergen, New Jersey. And he would knock him out in eight rounds. September 21st, 1978, he would score a six-round TKO over Bobby Boogaloo Watts. Now, Bobby Boogaloo Watts would fight Marvelous Marvin Hagler on three separate occasions. He would hand Marvin Hagler his first loss, but he would lose to Marvin Hagler two different occasions. He would fight Boogaloo Watts in Jersey City, New Jersey. At that time, Boogaloo Watts had a fighting record of 31, four losses, with one draw. January 27th, 1979, he would score a third round TK over Irish Pat Murphy. Irish Pat Murphy wound up becoming a supervisor in a company that I worked. He fought him in Jersey City, New Jersey. At the time, Pat Murphy had a fighting record of 33-11 with two draws. June 15th, 1980, he would have a 10 round disqualification. Our Wilfred Scipion. Another former Marvin Hagler opponent. At that time, Scipio had a fighting record of 16 and 0. Fought him in Clarkston, Michigan. February 15th, 1981, 17 and 1. Fighting record of Curtis Parker. Atlantic City, New Jersey. 10 round victory. I was at that fight. June 6th, 1981. He was scored a 10 round victory over Alan Minter. The, at that time, Alan Minter had a fighting record of 39 and 7. Fought him in Las Vegas, Nevada. March 10th, 1981. 11 round TKO. But November 20th, 1982, he would have a 10 round unanimous decision over Bobby Chess. At that time, Bobby Chez was 20 and 0. Fought him in Atlantic City. I was at that fight. And I got to tell you something. Mustafa Hamshaw put the beating on Bobby Chez. I was at a lot of Bobby Chez's fights. He used to fight at Ice World in Toronto, New Jersey. He was with the Lou Duva camp. And they were his meal ticket. I should say he was their meal ticket. You see, the Dubas had Bobby Chez, Vinnie Panzianza, Rocky Lockridge, Johnny Bumpus. But Bobby Chez was the up and coming young fighter that they were waiting for. And they put him up against Mustafa Hampshire in Atlantic City. I was in the third row of that fight. And the beating that Bobby Chez would suffer from Mustafa Hampshire was a thing to behold. Like I said, that fight took place November 20th, 1982. Wonderful exhibition. Mustafa Hamshaw. But before Mustafa Hamshaw would face Bobby Chez, he would face Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Marvelous Marvin Hagler would become middleweight champion in 1979. 
But unfortunately for Marvelous Marvin Hagler, he would not get the belts. Because they would call it a draw. He would face Vito Anafemo from Brooklyn, New York. This fight took place in Las Vegas, Nevada. It was on the same night as Sugar Ray Leonard when he faced Wilford Benitez for the welterweight championship strap, WC, WBC. And Marvin Hagler from that point on had redemption to any fighter he stepped in the ring with. So on that night, on October 19, 1984, he would put the beating on Mustafa Hamshaw. Third round, knockout. At the time, Marvin Hagler had a fighting record of 59-2-2. Two two. This fight took place in Madison Square Garden. It was an outstanding fight between these two men. Marvin Hagler was born May 23, 1954 in Newark, New Jersey. He stood five foot nine and a half inches. And he weighed 160 pounds. He had a 75 inch reach. Now he was wearing blue trunks. He was 30 years of age at the time of this fight. Mustafa Hamshaw was wearing green trunks. He was 31 years of age at the time of this fight. Marvin Hagler would wind up having a total record of 67 total bouts, 62 wins, 52 KOs, three losses with two draws. He would face fighters such as Roberto Duran, Thomas the Hitman Hearn, Sugar Ray Leonard, John the Beast Mugabe, Vito Anafermo, and Alan Minter, in which he would take the fighter from. That was a phenomenal fight. Both men were southpaw. Everyone who was everyone was at that fight. And I had the pleasure to be close to the hour which both men came down. It was an event like no other. Marvin Hagler comes out with a beautiful jab and that basically would beat Mustafa Hamshaw. Marvin Hagler had one of the best jabs in boxing history. And it was from the right, the right punching position. Because my half Ham sure had a, a habit of dropping his left hand. Beautiful punching position because Marvin Hagler was the southpaw. So it would be his right jab. Bouncing off the nose, the chin, and the eyebrow of Mustafa Hamshaw. And Mustafa Hamshaw could do nothing. And eventually in the third round, Marvelous Marvin Hagler would put together a beautiful combination. Having Mustafa Hamshaw against those ropes. It would be a left uppercut, right hook combination. And then a double right hook. He would knock out Mustafa Hamshaw. Beautiful combinations. By Marvelous Marvin Hagler.